Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do for this shot is we're gonna club up. I just like to give myself a little bit of leeway. So I'm just gonna take one club up uh, that I normally would uh, in the fairway. And then the second thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna play the ball a little bit farther back. We really want to make sure that we catch mostly ball, not mostly sand. And so putting it back in our stance is gonna help us with that. So the third thing that we're gonna do is for this shot, for this yardage, it's probably not going to be a full swing for us. If it is, that's great. And sometimes when it's we're not taking a full swing, it can be really hard to make sure that we accelerate through the bottom of the ball. So just because we're not taking a full swing back doesn't mean that we're going to kind of decel on the downswing. We really want to make sure that we really accelerate through the ball. We don't want to decel on this and we also don't want to overswing it. So we just want to make sure that we just take a nice normal swing and really accelerate through the bottom of the ball as we normally would in the fairway. The reason why we don't want to decel and we don't want to overswing is because the contact for this ball is really important. We really want to make sure that we get great contact. So either of those two is going to affect that. And the other thing that's going to affect contact is making sure that we maintain our spine angle through this entire shot. So what does that mean? So I'm going to show you. So maintaining your spine angle means that whatever your posture is set up, we're going to maintain that through the whole swing. We don't want to stand up. We don't want to bend down. We don't want to sway and get behind it. We really want to make sure that we're maintaining that, that spine angle through this whole shot because contact is going to be really crucial with this shot. So if we stood up, we're going to thin it. If we bend down, you're going to chunk it. If you get behind it, we're going to chunk it. So it's really important that you, you maintain that spine angle through the whole shot. So let's go hit it. So I've clubbed up one. I'm gonna put it back in my stance a little bit. I'm really gonna make sure that I'm maintaining that spine angle and I really wanna make sure that I'm just having a nice acceleration through the ball and really committing to this shot. Okay, so we've got our standard bunker shot here, standard lie. So we're gonna go over the setup. So for our setup, 
my stance is going to be a little wider than it normally would for a regular chip shot. And my toes are going to be pointed outwards. So I like this because I feel like it gives me a little bit more uh, movement and my movement isn't restricted. It also helps me with my weight distribution. So for my weight distribution, it's gonna be forward. So my stance is wider. My toes are pointed out, my weight is forward, and the ball is going to be forward. So the ball position is going to be off of my left toe. So now we've got our setup. The next thing is the club face. I see so many amateurs when they're trying to hit bunker shots and their club face isn't anywhere near as far open as it needs to be. You really want to make sure that that club face is nice and open. It needs to basically be laying flat on the sand. So we really want the fat part of your wedge or your bounce to be resting on the sand. And then you need to maintain that club face angle for the entire shot. Okay, so we've got our setup. Wide stance, point, toes pointed out, weight forward, ball forward. Face open. Now, the last important step is what we need to focus on and it's not the ball. You don't want it. We're not trying to hit the ball. We're trying to hit just behind the ball. So we want to focus about an inch behind the ball. So to give you a visual, I'm going to make a little indentation here about an inch behind the ball. And I'm just going to rest my club, my club here. This is a great way to practice your bonkers as well is to make that indentation with your club. Keep your club here to start and then focus on hitting that spot an inch behind the ball. So that's where we need to focus on. We don't want to hit the ball because then we're going to catch it thin and that's when you're going to hit your skulls or, or you're going to blade it out of the bunker. We also don't want to hit too far behind it because that's when we're going to catch it fat. So about an inch behind the ball is going to be the ideal spot of where we want our club to hit the sand so we can just get that ball all nice and nice and high and soft out of our bunker. So let's give it a go.